My name is Joshua Adigun. I am a Microsoft Most Valuable Professional and a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Welcome to my YouTube channel, AG Tech House. In today's um, session, I will be talking to you about preparing Outlook data files, either the PST or the OST. First, why would you want to repair um, an Outlook data file. So maybe you got um, a message saying your Outlook can't open your data file or probably you received a message saying that your Outlook can't open the set of folders or maybe you also um, you think your Outlook data files are damaged or they are corrupt, right? What you need to do is to repair the Outlook data files. But before I proceed on the steps on how to do that and what PST and OST means, I would um, like you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, AJ Tech House. You can also share this video with your friends and colleagues that you think might need this video, those that are having um, challenges with their Outlook, either the classic Outlook or the new Outlook. So quickly, I would go back and um, I would want to explain to us what PST means and what OST means. PST means the personal storage table. OST means offline storage table. They are two different things. Right? I'll tell you what the, uh, the difference is. So first, PST, the personal storage table, um, serves as a standalone local storage for archiving or backing up data from POP, from IMAP, or from your local outlook. You know, sometimes you want to, maybe you are in an organization A and you're leaving, and you want to back up your emails, you back them up to PST, right? So basically, there is standalone local storage for archiving, or sometimes you, you want to archive your emails, maybe your, your, your mailbox is full, you want to archive the entire um, email, you want to back them up, you can also, um, what, what you do is you back them up or archive them to a PST file. Then what OST, the offline storage table, um, basically it creates an offline synchronized cache for server-based um, email account like Exchange, right? So your, your OST is the, the file you have offline. The same thing when you're connected to Exchange Online, the same um, emails you can see in your in your mailbox. Those emails, the contacts, the calendars are synchronized offline, such that when you select the catch mode uh, in, in Outlook, yeah, you can still view your emails even when you're not connected to the internet. So what are the differences between PST and OST? The differences between PST and OST, the personal storage table and the offline storage table, is that um, let me start with PST. PST are for local data storage for backups and then portability without server connectivity. So uh, maybe you, you're going on vacation and when you're going to does not have an, um, access to the internet, you can back up your 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 emails to to PST such that when you go to that remote location you can um, open that data file in your Outlook and then you're good to go. You can read your emails, previous emails, not recent or emails that are coming in, but your previous emails that you, you, you've archived or backed up. And then OST files are designed for continuous offline access and automatic synchronization with a server. So when you're connected to um, Exchange Online Server, right? There is this synchronization between what you're seeing online presently on your on your on your, on your Outlook, and then what is being stored offline, right? Such that even when you're not connected to the internet and the cached mode is selected, right, you can um, access. Maybe you have an email you need to to respond to or to read. You can read that email, draft your response, and then when you're connected to the internet, you can send out your response. I'll come back to show you how to view the PST and OST files, and then I also come to tell you, I also tell you or guide you through the steps to repair a corrupt or damaged data file, which is in this case OST or PST. 
right but quickly let me go uh, let me show you something from a microsoft documentation right uh like i mentioned you might want to repair um, your data file because you're getting these um messages any of these messages right would definitely want make you to want to return uh, repair your data file right so um quickly um i just want to just intimate you with this information here it says the inbox repair tool that the, the scan PST, which we would see, right, doesn't connect or analyze any data stored in your exchange mailbox. It doesn't do that. All it does is it looks for errors or corruption or damage files and then gives you the opportunity to, to use the tool or to allow the tool to repair those errors. That's what um, the, the, the tools will, be, will see um, are basically used for what it do to repair your data corrupt or damaged data file. Um, yes, so quickly, I will show us how we can actually access um, this data file PST or um, the OST, both in the classic Outlook and then the new Outlook. Uh, in the classic Outlook, I have my Outlook open. All I need to do is click on File here. Um, and then click on account settings, account settings. Um, then a dialog box comes up, waiting for that to come up. Just bear with me, yes. And then I can see the, the files here. I can see the type of files, uh, whether it's um, an ex Microsoft Exchange account or an IMAP account. And then I can come over here to data files, right? Come here to over here to data files, and then if I hover around this, you would see at the end it says new OST. It says uh, the second one says new OST, and then the last one you see that the last one says new PST. So this is where you can see both the OST and the PST file. If I select any of them, I can click to open the location of these files. Um, another step I Forgot to add here is you can um, here when you want to repair. Um, let me start with that. Um, is um, um, delete the OST close Outlook and then relaunch Outlook. What this does is it builds a new OST file. So that's another way you can use to repair um, the damaged or corrupt PST. So quickly, um, I've shown you how to view the PST and OST file files in the classic Outlook. So let me show you how to view that in the, in the um, new Outlook. So in the new Outlook, I come over here to Settings. Right, come over here to settings, a dialog box comes up, and then I come over here to files, and then I see my output data file here. You can see it here. I can click on manage to see um, somewhat to get some other information. But let me quickly tell you something. Let me um, show you something from here from the Microsoft documentation. You would see that it says a new outlook. New Outlook doesn't use OST files. So that's why when I opened the new Outlook and I went to settings, I came over here to, to files, and then you see it just shows PST. So um, I just thought to mention that so you are aware. So quickly, how do I um, repair my damaged data files, right? how steps to repair a corrupt or damaged um, data file. So let me use the classic Outlook. I go to File. I come here to Account Settings. Account Settings. Again, um, the page should come up quickly. Uh, let's wait. Yeah. So let's say I want to do this. I come here to which of them now? This one. Yes, let me come to this one. 
open file location. Right, this is it here. So all I need to do here is to right click on this and then delete. So when I right click on this and then I delete this file, what happens is this corrupted OST or PST is deleted. And then when I close out, out I come to file, I click on exit here. Yeah? Um, Outlook should, and when I relaunch Outlook, Outlook should build that OST file again or that, that data file again, right? And after doing that, if um, it's not resolved, if it's not resolved, so let's do something quickly. Um, I'm going to do that, just show you how to, to do that. I'm going to delete this particular file, the Joshua at... Um, Yes, I'll delete this one and let's see what happens. Apologies, my system is kind of lagging, so I delete this. Alright, so what happens is okay, this can be completed because this file is open, so I need to close out Outlook and then do this. So, like I mentioned, what happens is when I close Outlook and I delete this file, when I relaunch Outlook again, Outlook should um, rebuild this file. And if this does not resolve the, the, the error, all you need to do is to go to the next step by using the scan PST. So, how do you get to scan PST? I use um, Microsoft 365. I come over here. So I'm going to show you something. I am in this location, this file path, um, this PC over here, and then OS, Program Files, Microsoft Office, Roots, and then um, Office 16. So Outlook, from Outlook 2019, and Outlook 3, 3, 6, Office 365 actually um, are contained in this folder, Office 16. So when I'm in this folder, all I need to do is to come scroll down to S and then check for scan PSD. So I'm going to launch this by double clicking on this. So a dialog box should come up, right? It's telling me this is, I should enter the name of the file I want to scan. I can click on browse, but um, I think it has selected what I want. So I'll just click on start, right? Um, yes, so let me select. Um, um, new one. Let's see. So let me take this and I click on open. So let's scan. So it, like I said, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to check or analyze anything. It's just going to check for errors. So if there are errors, it presents you the opportunity to repair these files, right? As as you can see. Um, this is available. You can see the information here. Only minor inconsistencies were found in this file. Repairing the file is optional. To repair, click on repair. So actually, it, it checked through and saw minor, minor inconsistencies, right? So and, uh, it's presenting me the opportunity to repair. So if I want to do this, I can just click on repair and then it goes through the process. And then when it is done, it tells me um, repair complete. And then I can launch my Outlook again. With that particular um, data file I scanned, and then um, this should be fixed, right? Um, yes. If it's not fixed, I would suggest uh, you reach out to Microsoft Support for assistance. However, um, there is a new tool I saw, I checked it out, and it really worked. Um, it's not a Microsoft tool, um, it's a third party tool. Um, it's called the Stellar Outlook Repairer to repair. Uh, corrupt or damaged data file. So I'll just show you their website. Yeah, show you their website. So this is their website. And then Outlook PSG repair tool to retrieve emails. Basically, what this tool does is um, it repairs corrupt PST files, right? That uh, that maybe resulted as a, as a, as um, because of loss 
uh, data loss or operational disruptions or things. A lot of things can cause um, a PST or an OST file to be corrupted, right? So you can use this tool. Um, I think other MVPs like myself have checked out these tools. Uh, other IT administrators like myself have checked out these tools. And like I said, I checked it out and um, it does, it works really, really well. So what it does is basically it repairs and restores corrupt or damaged PST files, right? And then it retrieves the vital mailbox items like your emails, your attachments, your contacts, your your calendars, right? It it retrieves them. It retrieves them, the, the corrupted ones, and then it re repairs and exports the mailbox to either Office 365 or um, yes, or maybe the other standalone um, Office suits. And then it supports, like I said, it supports Microsoft 365, Office 365, um, Office 2021, Office 2019, and even Office um, 2016. So again, I'll go back to the steps. Um, first step you need to do in, in repairing your corrupt or damaged data file is delete the OST file, close Outlook and relaunch Outlook. This should rebuild the data file. Secondly, you can go to the path I showed earlier to using scan PST to, to, to check for errors. And then pre it presents you the opportunity to um, repair the corrupt or damaged data file. And then the third party to um, Stellar Outlook, you can also um, check it out and um, see if it works for you. But I'm sure these steps will resolve your Outlook, um, your data file issues. But if none of this resolves your issue, I will recommend again to reach out to Microsoft support through the appropriate channels um, from your admin portal and then Microsoft uh, the Outlook team are, are here or they are available to support you either on the on the Windows side or on the Mac side. Thank you very much for your time. Please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, AJ Tech House. Like the video, share with your friends and colleagues, and also turn on the notification button so that you can be notified of every new videos I drop. Thank you. Cheers. Have a great day. Bye.